Hello? Hello? Professor Fontaine, I hope you can hear me okay? Yes, it's all working wonderfully. Alright, perfect. 
Let's jump straight in. So the phrase says, Oculus meus omnividente nuns pertinet. What exactly does that mean? What's the story behind it? And I'm sorry if I completely butchered that. Your Latin pronunciation is really good. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's very nice. I, yeah, I, I tried to study Latin at school. This sentence can be translated as my eyesight belongs to the all-seeing. So just like this internet phenomenon. Yes, someone must have found out about it. You must know that I'm a woman of science, and I do not believe in such things. Of course. I look at it from a purely professional point of view. I probably speak for both of us when I say that we see it the same way you do. Very good. This phrase was found during the excavation of a small room. It was written all over the walls, and there were countless eyes painted on the wall. Okay. Do you have any theories as to what this room was used for? Yes, there are numerous theories that... Hello? Hello? Professor Fontaine, can you still hear me? I think the connection just dropped. Let's switch back to the chat. Maybe she can at least text. I don't know, maybe it's these headphones. See you in a second. Well, well, well. The lady doesn't like the name, huh? Why don't you come up with a better one then? Come on, go for it. Go for the first thing that comes to your mind. I don't know, uh, maybe like something like Smargus, Stargus, Fargus, something like that. Come on, it's easy, right? Smorgos, Storgos, Forgos. Think of something. You can do it. It's not that difficult. We authors have to do that all the time. We always have to function. Oh, Jesus, okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm a bit stressed out. I will see you in the chat in a minute.